Hi, Tauruses. Welcome. Please do join me for some tarot. Welcome. Come on in. This will be for the Taurus Collective, the second week of January, 2024. We've already looked past the third quarter moon. By now, on the 10th, you'll be in new moon. So let's do this for Taurus as a collective. Show us past, present, and future. Doors opening, doors closing. And give us that almighty message from your spirit, please. Well, okay. Feeling pretty good about it. So somebody here is overprotective of someone's feelings. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This is keeping someone from moving forward. There is, this is keeping someone single. And there's um, a very serious disconnection. Wow. And then a coming out all at the same time. This is someone telling someone... I don't know. They're feeling like they would like to, but they don't. And it's a really big deal. <clears throat> Five of Cups. And it's all in how you look at it. So I think some people around you are looking at it a different way than you are. Someone around you is looking at it a different way than you are. They don't see it that way. And we have a meeting of the minds with the Hermit in Reverse. A meeting of the minds. So we come together in this event. Currently, we have someone around us. We don't look at it. We don't all think about it the same way. I'm not judging but I don't trust. They don't trust. We don't trust this. And they don't tell you. Or you don't tell them. So somebody is not going to communicate how much they don't think and agree with you on that. But they're getting ready to. Let's clarify with the oracle. Well, get more with the oracle and then I'll clarify. But if you are dealing with any type of a situation to where uh, you feel or somebody feels like they really want to do something. But they can't. This is not that. Oh, that's not the Hierophant. That's the High Priestess. Oh, okay. So we're being extremely blunt and honest about it. And they don't feel the same way that you do. Um, they do not stand in judgment of you and you do not them. Like, do not judge me, but this is, this isn't going to work. I have, there is no hope in the future for us, quote unquote, to do that, and someone not ready to give up, somebody's feeling like, and the spiritual message is, don't keep this to yourself, it's a very good thing that you are coming forward and bringing this out, and don't stay isolated, don't isolate yourself, Taurus, because the door is closing to those differences of opinions and different being willing to look at the positive is really hard for someone in the future. Very hard. The door's opening will open to talking about 
our feelings. But when those feelings come out, look at the card. So get ready for someone to continue to swallow their feelings and not communicate them. Not wanting to do this. We get the nine embers, the karma, and the bridge. Nine embers, the karma, and the bridge. And the erupting volcano churning out the fire in the distance may cause you to rethink your entire plan. So here we have someone, if it's not you, you came forward with some information about feelings, brought up this in this event, creates this little bit of an event that could make even somebody else rethink their entire plan by the second week of January. And when the new moon comes and things change, we'll have been through it all. Y'all been through it all, that and we're exhausted. It just seems like the finale that we didn't need. And so we can see that this is someone's karma. If we did good, we'll get good. If we did bad, we'll get bad. And we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, right? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. It's catching up with us. This is, it's, it's about how everything was so behind and because I don't want to do this, something's coming up and propelling Taurus to come forward. And, but yet we still don't want to do it. And, and if it, if it makes somebody else or if you, you know, you guys have to rethink this whole plan, like, don't be afraid to try and mend a broken relationship. Don't be afraid to try this relationship. This person is not afraid to try despite. I hear relationship. Earlier I saw it was simply a physical thing and something with that fire energy. So you would know a little bit better than me. But as a collective, the bridge is a card about illusions. If you pull it in a reading, it can either be a warning that something around you is not what it seems. Or it could be a call for you to pay attention to your unconscious self. Pay attention to your unconscious self. We all have desires that are necess you know, necessarily, not necessarily resting on the surface. And you're wanting this now. When we do, whatever it is we're getting ready to do or say, about it, it's going to make us all just rethink the entire plan. So that would be someone around you. So whatever you did do, wherever, let's just say that. You got people making everybody rethink their plan. They don't know what to think now about a lot of this but there is definitely someone around you who is willing to try so that's good even though and we're making moves in the past We've been there. 
But we're being very selective because this is a very serious situation. So being very picky to not, you know, like, I'm just going to be honest. This is what I've got. I don't, and I, you know, like that le inadvertently leaves me the, the, the one with the, you know, like, okay, you know, like, okay, wait a minute. Oh shit. It's a problem. It's not a problem. I think it's a problem. Somebody else doesn't think it's a problem. Well, the truth is it is what it is. And this ain't that. But communicating that, you know, the coming out in judgment and it's like, um, I don't know what, I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do now. You, uh, somebody, uh, waited a long time to tell me this and they're all like, wow. Just when I was getting ready to, you know, whatever, here comes Taurus. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. We crossing that bridge. Here we are. And it's like, we can't do this, we can't do that because of this and that. Says, well... being very picky about the moves and the steps and the things that I make and things that I do to be honest and not afraid. And I'm not afraid to be honest. I'm not afraid to be honest about this, about the way that I look at this is not a good situation. You know, don't judge me. I won't judge you. Uh, somebody says, you know what? You are strong. I see how strong you are. They see how strong you are and they like it. They don't judge. You know, and it is a matter of trust. And just trust me. You don't trust me. Why don't you trust me, Taurus? You know, you can tell me all of this stuff now. Like, why? Just why? Am I having bad karma? It's a turn of events. It's a turn of events. Testing someone's patience. Because with, there was a lot of time invested. But now, Taurus, ready and feeling like rethinking the whole thing themselves. Let's clarify that. Nine embers. Strength. It took, it's, it's taking a lot of courage to stay optimistic when it comes to relationships and love in this for Taurus. Don't judge me, but I don't have a whole lot of faith that I'll find me a mate because of my picking and choosing. I'm choosing to stay single. The truth is I want to date a lot of different people. Or because I did in the past, now I have a problem, and so don't judge me. But this is just testing someone's patience. And it could be testing your patience. Let's see what the swan, I forget. The swan is, uh, it's a protection, a shield, a protection around you. So it represents duality, but the shield does represent a protective presence in your life. Um, being overprotective of yourself and people who are willing to protect your secrets, you don't even need them to. You're like, it's not even a secret. This is a decision to make. Take it as an affirmation that what you will feel in your mind is what you feel in your heart. And what you, and, and your, and, and what you need to feel in your mind and your heart represent mental clarity, wisdom, and a connection with your unconscious mind. Um, if you've been waiting to take the plunge into something new by the 11th, now is the time. And for this other person, they're like, I've waited all this time. And karma says, now you want me, Taurus? You want me now?
positive affirmations. Come on. Good vibes for Taurus, please. Good vibes, good vibes. All right, two lotus. Two lotus. Two lotus. Yeah. What you gonna do? It's about connecting with another soul. This card is about a deep connection. It came up in reverse. And I'm really, this is wild how the vibe around the second week of January is um, about trusting that a relationship can also make you feel secure. So what did I say earlier? A relationship versus, you know, it's like how we're looking at it. Somebody wants a relationship. It's how you look at it. And maybe that's what somebody's going to tell somebody is like because of this and that. I want a relationship. I want more than just sex. I want a relationship. I want more than just a friend. I want more than just to move through life being single. You know, we don't know what this person's going to be with us. The truth is, we're going we gonna to talk about it with other people, these differences. We're going to work out these differences. It's going to take a lot of courage for someone to work out these differences. Testing our patience is what we've been doing, and then we see bada bing, bada boom. So you want to tell me now? That's what I'm getting. All right. Check out some of the other readings. Be there for your next reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate your views. Taurus, thank you so much. And again, I will see you in the next tarot reading. Bye-bye.